Hello and welcome. It's Jolly Key Bunny. I'm here at an acrylic pouring on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I've got this array of gorgeous colours here because I'm riding to the bright and beautiful colourful pores. I've got a few of the my Montmartre fluoros. Um, I've got a few Amsterdam. What else have I got? Amsterdam fluoro, and I've got a bit of PBR. I've got a bit of mixture of paints, but um, I'm sure I, I may not use them all. But they're all what I have mixed up to do my pores for this week. So, without further ado, we all get on with it. I've got this 60 by 30 canvas. I have my masking tape on the back and my giant push pins. Um, if you're in Australia, the supplier is in the drop down box. Capriol Shabby Chic. If you're in the US or UK, Europe, you can get them off um, Amazon, I believe, or eBay, I suppose, you know, anywhere like that. So I'm going to do um, a piece on this long canvas, sort of what I love to do, but I'm going to add a, a little bit of well, well, a little bit of two-toniness. I've watched um, a guy come up on some of the uh, Facebook groups, the Acrylic Art Facebook groups called Don Gregor, and he has just recently started a YouTube channel. He does kind of similar bright and beautiful paws, um, similar to me, but in a different way. Uh, but it just reminds me of my love of colour and I believe Don is the same. So um, I just thought I'd have a little go of what Don does. Well, it's kind of very similar to what I already do and I'll put my own swing on it. But I'll link Don's YouTube channel uh, in the on the first comment underneath this video if you'd like to go and check Don out and give him a bit of support. That would be uh, nice because he's new to YouTube and his paintings are beautiful. So yeah, and they're bright and uplifting, just like I love. So yeah, go and give Don a check Don out. So here we go with my rendition of the whole caboodle. So I'm gonna do sort of, it's like a, I suppose like a garland shape. I will do 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 without further ado so that this is just a cream it's just a, a sandy cream color nothing uh, nothing outstanding about the color but I will hopefully bring it to life and do it some justice in a little while so thank you so much you guys oh my goodness i am overwhelmed with the support and the views and the new subscribers i am absolutely gobsmacked and i thank you all so much i'm um yeah just under ninety thousand subscribers and that is you know i just feel it's absolutely huge for me so I thank you guys because you've obviously definitely helped on my journey to get here. I'm going to put a bit more of that colour. quite like it. Yeah, so um, yeah, just want to thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for the comments you leave and the watching my videos. Obviously that all helps YouTubers um, survive on YouTube. And I appreciate it very, very much. So I am going to oop, get this lovely, lovely other colour that I have here, which I've actually custom made. It's kind of like a metallic rose colour. It's um, I started off with caramel, no, magenta. Then I put silver in it, so it's got the gliss silver metallic, so it's got the glisten. Then I had a little bit left over in a small cup of um, primary elements pigments that was mixed with the enamel. 
and I, I just popped that in because I had one tiny bit left and I didn't want to waste it so I popped that in there so it's got all this kind of lovely sheeny shininess in there so I'm doing a rose and um, so the rose is going to be on the bottom obviously as you see and it's a lovely glimmery shimmery paint like it's come out so um, shimmery I think because more so than ever because the um, uh, metallic silver in it and then I of course I added the um, lovely uh, pigment and that's very glimmer, glisteny, gris, glis I can't get my words out. I've had a lazy day here on my own. My husband's out working at my son's place, um, doing some yard maintenance with him. And so I've watched a movie and I've mixed paints and I've done a little bit of preparing for our tea tonight. So I've had a really nice day and I hope you guys have too. So, so might be a bit too much paint on there but I hope not it'll all be good in the end I'm pretty sure so okie doke so I've got those two lovely colors to start with done in this effect <laughs> now one thing Don said is that he absolutely loves bright green so it's not a color that I use very often but just in um, Don's credit, I'm going to try and incorporate this green. I think actually I could have uh, made it a little bit thicker. So it was the fluoro green. So I might just give it a squirt more paint in there. Yes, you can do this. You can add paint after the. If it's a little bit thin. The pouring medium and my um, the description and the pouring medium is in the drop down box underneath this video. So, just put a little bit more paint in that and give it a good, good whisk around. It'll all be okay. Righty-o. So I'm going to start with this fluoro. I think it was fluoro pink, yeah. So I'm going to do my do my thing. I know that Don probably doesn't do it exactly. Of course, it doesn't do it exactly the way I'm doing it, but um, that's what's good about different ideas you see, whether they're mine or another artist, is, you know, put a bit of your own um, self in there, like, yeah, mix it up a bit and it doesn't have to be the same. Put your own spin on it. That's the word I'm looking for. So that may be a bit too much there, but... Who cares? In for a penny, in for a pound. This is the real lovely... This was the orange of uh, Montmartre, but I did add a good squirt of the fluoro in there as well, just to give it some oomph. Give it the oomph it needed, or I thought that it needed. So... That's in there, putting a bit of everything in here, aren't I? Okay, this is the Fluoro Purple. That one. Fluoro. Looks purple. Yeah, Fluoro Purple. Okie doke. So you can use, try any brand of paints in these colours if you want to mimic the colours. That's absolutely fine there she goes I'm going to put a little bit of white in here I'll just use my stick So I hope you guys are all keeping safe. I hope the uh, people that celebrated 
Thanksgiving, had a good time, didn't eat too much. What do you actually eat for Thanksgiving? Because we don't celebrate it in Australia. So is it the same as you would celebrate Christmas Day in other countries? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely do not know. Oh, what other bright colour can she fit in? Yellow. Yes, so I'm not sure how or what people do or eat on Thanksgiving because it's just not something that we celebrate here. Or I'm in for a party any time. So I think you have turkey the same as probably what they do in the UK for Christmas. Of course in Australia you can have turkey but it's more um, obviously because it's very hot around that time of year they go more for um, uh, like seafood. Seafood, that's what we go for. Okay, I've probably got 20 million times more paint than I need in here. But I've got to put this green in because Don loves green. <laughs> I've got the whole kitten caboodle as they would say in here okay I'm hoping some of that paint absorbs into the canvas because there's a lot of paint on there and I don't really want to tilt it I'm gonna blow it out now Don the lovely Don spends all his hours blowing it blowing it blowing it and as I said to Don I would pass out if I had to do that so I'm not gonna blow it by mouth I'm going to blow it with my little um, mini blower my little um, world's smallest mini blower somebody asked me why do I take the end off just different particular pores I like how it gives different effects so I'll try it with the little spout on it today and I'll just plug it in it goes into a USB there we go so that's in and um, oops sorry about that I'm rocking the boat naughty gill so I'm going to put as a bit of a contrast in here a little bit of this navy 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 and this is um, this was the Amsterdam I made the navy up with phalo blue black and a blob of green it makes a nice navy so I just want to put a bit of navy contrast and this one's only made up with Floetrol it is a little bit thicker but a little bit thicker than some probably would have been nice if I got it in a little squirty bottle I'll have to probably do that with the bit that I've got left Time consuming. Yeah. Goodness me. Yeah, this is a bit thicker than the rest of the consistency of it all. Where's his trousers? All right, just leave it at that for a second. Try my little blower. If it doesn't work, I'll take the spout off or I may use my, my uh, stainless steel straw. Okay, let's see how we go. Don, I think I'm going to send you one of these blowers so to save your um, blowing, <laughs> blowing, blowing. Oh, where I've put that navy in that's just the flow troll in Amsterdam, the um, lacing is pretty awesome, as I knew it would.
I'm trying to move out of the way because it's going all over the place. <laughs> okay, I think if I need any more, I will um, use my straw to blow it. It's a little bit more control. <laughs> You know, so I might get the straw. I know it looks like a big gooby mess, but hopefully, let's hope. have to bring you down to see some of this lacing. Okie doke. Some of this lacing is beautiful. You know it's where the Amsterdam paint and float troll just make some gorgeous gorgeous effects. So so I'm gonna get this little bamboo skewer and I'm gonna do some little wisps up and through just bring it up through the colors so try and wipe it off each time so it's just so you won't muddy your stick up with collecting all the different paints so it's definitely quite therapeutic and lovely just to spend this time noodling doodling away whatever you want to call it we'll go for that okay a few down this way So, I don't believe Don does this, but it's my spin on it. I'm going to get my bit of um, navy, just mixed with the flow troll, as I said before, and I'm going to just use my soft plastic, actually, probably a bit thicker than that, soft plastic, um, you know, if you use a soft plastic file divider, I'm using this bit of card that I've cut up. So, I'm dipping in the paint and flow troll together. I'm going to start from the, about the centre because I knew it would just bring up the most amazing lace so not good going the other way um, okay let's do this let's do this beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. Let's do a few wisps up there in the flow troll. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's it. Just add your own spin to it, people. That's what it's all about. We're all here to learn off one another and then add your own spin to it. The techniques, none of them belong to anyone. Everybody tries their best, but trust me, it's all been done before. <laughs> Just in a different way. Yeah, that flow troll definitely adds such a lovely lacing effect to your work.
Yeah, it's probably a good idea to keep wiping it in between your dips. You're dipping in your, and then you slide. So let's give it, see what it looks like on the, the rose pink. Well, of course the navy always looks really nice with the rose colour. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Got a bit of working on it to go, so um, it'll hopefully look a stunner when it's finished. So it's really adding the whimsical fantasy whimsical effect to it just putting the lacing in and the slides the card slides so it may be too wet in the middle to do my balloon kissing but I'll give it a go and if not we'll leave it and I'll come back Ooh, it just brings up those lovely bright colors under it yes I should be pushing this onto another canvas but I haven't got one handy so you can, I want to keep some of this lacing just looks so much like um, gems, but there's certainly some hot bright colours in this and I love it, as you know I love bright colours, so you just get in your balloon and you're just giving it a good old kiss, kissing the canvas, kissing the canvas, it is always better to leave if you're not um, proficient in your balloon kissing is just walk away and leave the canvas to dry off a little oh yes oh look at that lovely laciness do I want to put any more no I won't put any on the top this time might use it for my edge you can balloon kiss the edge of your canvas too that gives a really nice effect on the edge of your canvas probably better with the small balloon though wow I don't think it needs too much it's really busy um, but it is super colorful I'm super duper happy with it so without further ado I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let it dry off a bit and if I come back and just, you know, just tickle it up a bit, tickle it up a bit, let me turn it around and see what you think. I'm going to finish off the edges just with my fingers but um, of the canvas. So that's a really nice, bright, uplifting pour. So I hope you like it, guys back into my bright and uplifting days thank goodness so until tomorrow i will be back tomorrow with another pour of course i will every day so so happy if you would join me if you haven't subscribed please do so it helps me and it's absolutely free so until tomorrow you stay safe and um stay safe and create bye for now